Hello everyone! So today I'm gonna try to do like a different camera angle, different camera view for today's video. Um, I want to do, and I've been, I've been waiting too long to do this video, but it's a empties video. Um, sorry if I keep looking over here. I'm trying to figure out this new angle, but um, yes. Anyway, I have an empties video. Um, I kind of, I've always had the wax melt warmers for, I don't know, probably four or five years now, but I used to only buy from um, Target. There's my puppy walking by. I used to only buy from like Target or wherever I found the wax. Um, I didn't know there was like such a thing of vendor wax, but I just recently discovered the vendor wax world this past, you know, summer. So the past, you know, few months. And so with that, I kind of like dove in head first and purchased a ton of wax, a ton of mystery sample bags and stuff to, to kind of figure out what I do and don't like. And so I feel like I'm trying to warm a lot of that wax now, um, which is why I have so much because a lot of it, to be honest, is like little wax sizes. Like these kind of bags are pretty tiny, like you can go through it in one day. Um, so I have a lot of like little wax bags and then um, I feel like a lot that I'm going to show you is wax that like I didn't mind warming but I didn't love. So I'm going to kind of like go through that fast because I have a lot that I want to warm and go through because I don't want like it to just sit and then get old and I'm never going to use it because now when I'm ordering, I feel like I'm ordering stuff that I truly will like and it's in bigger quantities. So I'm ordering like loaves and stuff, which is why you're not seeing things that I like really love because I'm not going through that super fast right now. Um, but eventually once I start kind of like finishing up on some of these like mystery grab bags of things that I like maybe don't love, but don't mind, then maybe I'll do like a melting basket slash empties because I want to talk about stuff I love. But if it's in like a wax loaf size, obviously I'm not gonna go through it like super quickly and it might not make it in an empties video for a while. So anyway, I hope that wasn't too long, but let's just jump into some of these empties. All right, so first things first, I guess I'm just gonna start with a few that like, I don't know, no, I don't know. I'm just gonna start at random. So, like I said, I feel like a lot of this stuff is going to be like, it was okay, wouldn't repurchase kind of, um, at least in, in this video. And then I think I'm going to start showing things that I really do enjoy and love. But this was just all from when I just jumped in and started buying. So, the first thing I have is a snap bar from Glow Sense. Um, this one I really liked. I said, I wrote like notes on the back for me because I have so much that I didn't want to forget. So scent I put on as a four. I'm just going to say, let's say five is like the best and I loved it scent wise and throw. And then, you know, one, two is kind of like, eh. Um, so scent I said four, I really liked this. This was the North Pole type. If I remember correctly, it was a little bit minty. Um, I really liked it. I enjoyed it. Throw was like a three. So like three, I'd say is like, okay. I smelled it, but it wasn't like, whoa, I walked into the room and it's like crazy strong. Um, but yeah, I liked this one. And then I have a few from, um, Aligned Ash Studio. So these are what her snap bars look like. To be honest, I'm not the hugest fan of her wax. Um, and this is all just personal preference you know could totally be the warmer that I have it in it could be the air conditioning the fan I have going um not sure but her wax doesn't seem to be the greatest for me it's either not super strong or the scent is just not my favorite so the first one I have is Tahiti Falls I didn't really like it um Shoot, I wonder if I should look up the scent notes for you guys. I don't... 
should I? Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I have like this wax melt spreadsheet that I make of like every vendor because I'm just curious, especially if they no longer have it on their website. I want to go back and look, especially if they don't have scent notes on their packaging. Oh goodness. Okay. Aligned Ash Studio. Um, all right. So it's kind of small. Um, what did I just talk about? Tahiti Falls. This is supposed to be inspired by my absolute favorite laundry scent. This is perfect for every room in your house. Amazing blend of jasmine, violets, and fresh waters. It wasn't my favorite, to be honest. This one, as well as China Rain, which China Rain, um, I couldn't find the scent description. It was already off the website by the time I was making my spreadsheet. These both weren't my favorite scent. I put like a one or two on both of them. I just personally didn't like the scent. Throw was really good on these ones actually though. I wrote like a four, but it wasn't in a good way because I didn't like the scent personally. It smelled very cleaner-esque to me. So I did both of these in the bathroom and they were strong in the bathroom. Um, one of my bathrooms throws amazing and then the other one throws terribly. So typically, not to be mean or anything, but typically if there's a scent I'm not loving a, a ton, I'll do it in the bathroom that doesn't throw that great because I don't really care if I don't smell it. Um, basically, it's because one of the bathrooms, the vent or like fan is right above the plug-in. So that's the only place I can put a warmer. So I think that's why it doesn't throw well. But anyway, this was very like cleaner, cleaner scent to me like a spray cleaner, like your deep cleaning your kitchen or your bathroom. Not so strong as like Clorox, you know, bleach spray, but it's like borderline that cleaner type scent and I don't love it, but it was fine for the bathroom. So yeah, wouldn't repurchase those. Aloha Vanilla scent, it was okay. I said like a three. This is supposed to be, um, oh, couldn't find the scent description, but either way, it doesn't matter because she said this was gonna be a discontinued scent. Um, I think it was a little tropical, probably because of the Aloha. Um, I believe it was a little pineapple-y. Um, so I, I didn't mind the scent. I don't love tropical fruit scents as much, but um, yeah, scent was like a three, throw was like a two or three. I don't really think it was anything crazy. Happy birthday. I do love a good bakery scent. This was okay. Scent three, throw two slash three, not the best. And then these two, um, Rose Quartz and Cherry Blossom. I didn't really like them and I couldn't smell them. So scent I put as like a one and throw I put as, this sounds a little harsh, but I put as zero. Like I literally couldn't smell it at all. I couldn't smell it at cold, on cold. I couldn't smell it warming. Um, but again, these are, scent is very subjective. It might be great for your house or you might love the scent. Um, here's two just Target brand ones. This one I talked about my last one, Chesapeake Bay. Um, I don't think they sell these ones anymore. Um, this particular one, I didn't, I couldn't smell. I only had two more cubes left. It was three cents. So each row had its own scent and these were the three cents. I had Pina, Verbena, and California Citrus left, so I just warmed those. I couldn't smell it. I don't know if it's that this was old. I know with vendor wax, at least, people say the longer you let it sit, the better it gets. This can't be more than a year old. Like, I probably got it last summer, but I couldn't smell it. Um, Berry Lemonade Melon. Oh my gosh, this was really good. This was surprisingly good. Berry Lemonade Melon. It says, with with notes of raspberry and mint. I mean, all these berry, lemonade, melon, raspberry, mint, it doesn't smell like any of those to me, but it smells so good. My husband said, and I totally agree with this when he said it, he said it smelled like gum, like that, like, what was it like? Was it like Trident layers? It was a layers gum. And I totally agree with him. Um, yeah, I really like this. I wouldn't buy it again now because we're getting into fall and winter, but if I see this next summer, I would potentially get it again. Throw was really good. Um, all right. So the next thing that I'm going to show is, do I just have one? 
um, the strawberry shortcake. This was from Little Blue Coop Soap. I did a haul um, maybe like a week or two ago. Um, this one, I love strawberry bakery scents, but this one was just okay for me. Um, I mean, the scent was good. It was like a three or a four. Throw was like a three. So it was just very average. I don't think I'd necessarily buy this particular one again, but um, yeah, it was fine. Um, and surprisingly didn't stain my warmer. It was like a really deep red color. I was just assuming it was going to stain really bad, but no, no staining. Um, next we'll do, maybe I'll do these, these L3 Waxy Wonders. So a few of these were from my mystery bag. So they were basically just sample sizes. A Pirate's Life, honestly, I don't even know the scent description, but I put scent was like a three. So three is like average, it's good. I like it, I don't love it. Throw was like two or three, but to be fair, some of these sample sizes are really tiny. So I don't know if it's just because it was such a small amount, but yeah, this was okay. I don't necessarily know if I'd buy that again though. Mogram, Mogram. Um, I put a three all around. I didn't mind it. I'm sorry. I can't even remember what the scents are. I think this was kind of a fruity scent. I liked it. I don't think I'd buy it again. If I got these in another mystery bag, would I be unhappy? No, I didn't mind them, but I probably wouldn't just like rush onto the website and purchase. Roll in the hay. This is a new scent from, um, what was it? I think she just had her like eight year anniversary and she was um picking like custom blend winners or something and this was a custom blend winner and i just bought this in a puppy pack size but i had gotten this in a recent um sample in an order um this was okay i put scent as like a three throw was like a four or five but i had this on a tea light warmer so throw is almost always really good on tea light warmers um to be honest on cold definitely only got the apple so this is hay, pumpkin, and mac apple. On warm, mac apple again was very strong, but a little bit, I think I smelled a little bit of that hay note. Um, it's not my favorite. I have a puppy pack coming and I'm not like upset about it, but once I use it up, I don't know if I'd buy it again. Um, something with the hay, I think kind of irritated my throat. Like I kept kind of like clearing my throat when this was warming. So I don't know, but I didn't mind it. Um, West Coastin, Garnier Fructis, Boardwalk Mallow Clouds, and Berry Licious. So that's what this one looks like. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this because they're empty bags, but just in case you want to look at the, the label. Scent I put four slash three. So I think I started out as like, oh, this is good. But then I was kind of like, eh. Maybe I don't love it. I don't know. Um, throw was like a two, but honestly, I could probably bump it down to one because I wrote didn't smell much. Like it, it was really, it was good on cold, but I, I smelled it up close when I was like standing over my warmer. But as for scent throw throughout like a room, I did not smell it. So I probably wouldn't repurchase. <clears throat> Peach waffle cone. This was another little sample. Scent was like three to two. I'm not a big peach lover. I don't mind it. I'll warm it. Um, but yeah, throw was like a three or four, but I did take it off sooner than I probably could have. Like I could have kept it going longer, but I just didn't love peach. So I probably wouldn't repurchase that one. Um, Mac apple, Mac apple, fresh cut grass and rock candy. Not sure what rock candy is supposed to smell like. I didn't smell that at all. And same with the fresh cut grass. I actually didn't smell that at all. The only thing I smelled was Mac Apple. So I'm just going to show this one, even though it's crossing brands. But I actually mixed it with this Columbia Candle Supply fresh cut grass and hemp. Because I kind of figured, when else am I going to use this one? Because I didn't think I was going to use this one by, its, by itself. Because, I don't know. I didn't mind it. I didn't love it. Um... But together, I did get the Mac Apple and Fresh Cut Grass. So these mixed together were good. Would I buy them 
again probably not but for the mix and for the time I was warming they were they were good um Dunn Bonnet I did not like this one I think all these bag sizes were either bunts or puppy packs so scent I put as three originally because I thought I liked it but then I kind of bumped it down to like two or one throw was a five out of five if you like a powdery floral kind of a scent you'd probably love it but this was another one where I was like <clears throat> like I felt like I kept clearing my throat as this was warming I think something about the powdery florals I bothers my throat I think I have some sort of like fragrance intolerance to it I don't know didn't love it but if you love this scent it threw amazing and then I saved the best for, for last, Zucchini Red Strawberry. I think this is my number one scent from any vendor that I've found so far. I actually just requested, she did like, um, you know, before every like pop up or whatever, she, um, Jennifer posts on her Facebook like, oh, this is your scent, you know, calling scent requests for scoopables, for bitty betties, for bunts, whatever. So the first one I saw her post about was scoopable, so I requested this. And it was in the last pop-up, so I bought three scoopables of strawberry zucchini bread. I love it. I love it so much. I can't say enough about it. Scent, five out of five. Throw, five out of five. It's amazing. Alrighty. Sorry, I had to just go get a drink of water really quick. Um, I think this is my only lurid apothecary. Um empty this this month or I don't know yeah I guess this month and this was a sample tunnel of love I think this is a love spell something mix um it smelled good on cold but I don't think I got a whole lot of scent but again like th these were pretty small samples it looked big in the bag but they were very thin so maybe it just wasn't a big enough size or maybe I put it in a warmer you know, I have certain warmers that throw really well and certain rooms that throw really well. So maybe if I had put it in a warmer that threw really well, I would have smelled it more. But yeah, it was okay. I don't necessarily think I'd buy that again. Um, let's go through some of these scent shot cups that I have. Like I said, oh wait, here's one more. Oh no, never mind. Like I said, I think I'm just trying to use my scent shots. I don't, I realize I don't love the shot cups of wax um I don't know they're just kind of messy and I always have like I I never put a whole shot cup in a warmer it's just way too big so I don't know it's just not my favorite shape or whatever of, of wax so the first one is Soul's Inspiration Beachside Barbershop hers I cut just right in half um scent was like a three or four I liked it but throw is not great and I said that I think in my last empties video um it was this one was better than the sample I got but it's still like a three out of the out of throw so it was like okay I melted it in my office that gets really good scent throw um and I melted it during the day while I was working so I think I noticed noticed it more because I was sitting there all day like two three feet away from the warmer so I liked it I enjoyed it but I don't think I'd buy it again then we have some nerdy wax co that again I'm kind of trying to use up I don't love this vendor's wax it's just too hard to chop and stuff um so the first one I have is winter soldier I think this is a star wars one it's kind of a weird scent I'm not really sure I didn't mind it, so this was just a three all around. It was okay. Scent was scent throw was okay. Um Qui -Gon? Um this one again, I don't know. It smells really peachy to me. Pear, berries, and a floral. It smells like peaches. I don't know. I didn't love it. Scent was like a two, throw was like a three. Falcon, the Falcon. Um, this one was very cologne like masculine. I did this one in my husband's bathroom. Scent was like a three. I mean, I like cologne scents. I don't love them, but my husband likes them. Um, throw was like a five. This one was very strong. 
um, Glow Sense Candle Co. I really like Glow Sense. Their wax is so soft and great, really easy to chop. But I'll just say, like, they're not super active on, like, social media. I don't think they've come out with anything new in a, quite a while. Um, but I like them, like, whenever I post on Instagram and I tag them in something, they like it right away. So I know they're active. They just don't actively post. Um, they're also, like, their scents aren't, like, super unique, but they're good, like, good classic scents. Um, Cottage Breeze type. I liked this one. Um, can't really go wrong. This was like a three. If I just say three, it's three for scent and three for throw. Caribbean Escape type. Not sure what kind of type that is. Again, this was like a three. It was good. It was okay. Probably wouldn't buy again. Bamboo and Orchid. This one, I loved the scent on cold, but I did not get good throw from this one. In fact, I kind of wrote like no scent when I warmed it. So, eh, I don't know. Disappointing because the scent was really pretty, but just didn't smell it while it was warming. Salted Caramels type. I did this one in the September Wax Challenge. Scent was good. I don't love caramel scents, I don't think, on their own. So I put like three. Throw was like a three or four. It was decent. I, I, I smelled it for sure. Black Ice type. Again, like this is kind of masculine, like masculine body care kind of a scent to me. Throw, I put like a four or five. It was pretty strong. Scent to me though, like on cold is like a three. Um, it was okay. And then bombshell type. This one, um, scent I put like a four. I really liked it. I don't think it necessarily smells like the bombshell perfume, at least not to me. Um, but it was good. But oddly enough, I didn't smell it too strong. And this stained my warmer like crazy. I will insert a picture. Um, it's crazy because this was like a baby pink. It's not something that I would have assumed was gonna stain my my warmer like crazy, but it was it was terrible. It stained it so bad, and it stained it. So I have a few happy wax warmers, and they use a silicone dish. So there, you literally can't get it out. It's not like it's a ceramic dish where you could use like rubbing alcohol or like a magic eraser it's a silicone dish like you can't really clean it which is fine i really don't care but just to let you know this stains like crazy and then did i say throw was like a two or three it didn't really smell like super strong when i warmed it so i don't know all right i kind of want to breeze through american wax co you guys kind of know how i feel about them i have a ton like i said it's just one that i you know some of them are literally single you know, well, welt, single max welt. Ah, what do I say? Single wax melt, like warmer sizes. So you can literally pop one in one warmer. I have like 10 warmers, so I can get through these pretty quick. But I don't get American Wax Co. There are a few that were really good, but there are a lot that I didn't smell at all. Sorry, if you see any cuts, I have to stop every now and again because I record on my phone, so I don't want the video to get, like, super long. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to breeze through these. If I breeze through it pretty fast, it's because I didn't particularly love or smell it. So, if I talk about it more, that's because I have something additional to say. Stud Muffin. This one was actually really good, and I don't know if the ones that I'm going to talk about that were more impressive is because they were more recently I'm not sure but this one was really good throw was like a five out of five scent was like a four it definitely smelled caramel coffee like my husband really liked it a clean getaway throw was like a five out of five it smelled definitely like laundry scent was like a four really good here comes the sun I don't even know what the scent notes are scent was like a two or three throw was like a two unreleased number two um this one actually smelled really good Throw is like a three or four, pretty good, but it's unreleased, so I don't think you can get it. Be at the beach. Scent was like a three, I liked it, but throw was like a two, it was okay. Bubblegum days, I don't really like bubblegum scents, but this one actually smelled a bit more cherry-like to me. I'm not sure why, because that's not in any of the scent notes. And then um, throw was like a three, it was okay. Wisby's scent was like a three, throw was like a three and it ended up being sweeter on warm than I expected. 
Um, poisoned butter beer. Send is like a two or three. Throw is like a three. It's okay. Vanilla passion fruit. A lot of these I got in my mystery grab bags from her. So that's why it's like I wouldn't necessarily pick these out myself now. But I got these when I was like just discovering Bender Wax. Um, scent and throw is like a two slash three. Simply the zest. I didn't really like it and I didn't really smell it. So that's like a one or two. Here today, gone to Maui. Um, eh, two, three. Let's party. Again, like a two scent, two throw. You desert it. I literally didn't smell anything. I'm not trying to be like mean or like shady or anything. I just, they didn't work well in my apartment. Week in the Keys. I didn't really smell it. Straight out of Scranton. Didn't really smell. Take a left at Albuquerque. Didn't really smell that one either. Okay, now let's move on to, and this is my last vendor I'm going to show today. And then I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do these either more frequently or like I said, do a mix of like a melting basket slash empties of the week or bi-weekly. So now we're ending on Columbia Candle Supply, which I really like. Again, just to let you know, her wax is pretty hard and it's very glittery. It's beautiful, but um, because it's so glittery, I feel like I can't microwave it. So then when I cut it, it just kind of crumbles apart. But it's really good. I mean, typically I get really good scent throw from her, but there's nothing I particularly maybe buy again. Like these are another one where like I would totally, if I got it in a... Um, mystery box I would be happy with it but I don't know if I'm gonna like go back and like I have to order you know any of these again necessarily mountain air this was good I just melted this it actually smelled kind of like cologne or like men's body care like to me um it was good like a three or four exotic flowers and lavender this was good I'd say like scent was like a three throw was like a four don't mess with the devil I liked this. I don't know if I'd buy it again necessarily, but scent was like a three, throw was like a four or five. Pink sands, scent was like a three, throw was like a three, so that was okay. Honey, I washed the kids. I really liked this on, on cold sniff, but oddly enough, this one didn't get great scent throw, so that was like a scent throw of two. Bamboo and lotus flower. This was really good. This one, I loved. The, was this one I loved the scent of? Now I'm confused because I wrote throw two or three. Yeah, I like this. And um, I did this on a tea light warmer. And yeah, I guess it wasn't super strong, but I really liked the scent. Lavender Spring and ap Apricot. Scent was like a three or four. Throw was like a four. Summer Bouquet. Um, this was okay. Throw and scent were like a three. I didn't love that. I don't think I love floral a ton. I think florals tend to kind of like make my throat... Uh, what am I trying to say? It makes me like cough a little bit, like <clears throat> clear my throat. Um, wood, sage, and sea salt. This I surprisingly loved. Um, this was, I I thought it was okay on cold, but it was really good when I warmed it. I warmed this on a tea light warmer too. So scent was like a five out of, five out of five, throw was like a four or five. But again, when you do tea light warmers, they tend to be stronger. Cream, I don't know. I don't really like the cream scent. Scent is like a two, throw is like a two. I just don't think it's that strong. Skittles, scent is like a three, throw was like a three or four. That was good. Um, another cream I just was like using up. Ooh, cotton candy bubblegum. I didn't like this. Throw though, if you like cotton candy bubblegum, this is a five. I had to take it off my warmer though. I didn't like the scent. And then some of these I chopped and then put in a different bag because her bags are kind of like cheapy. Um, so I put these in just a, a different reusable bag. Calla Lily, I think I have two of these, I'm not sure. Um, like I said, I don't like floral scent, I don't think. So scent is like a two, throw is like a three or four. Lemon Fizz, this was good. I actually ended up mixing this with lemon, iced lemon angel cake. Is that what it, iced lemon, iced lemon angel food cake. Um, because... I don't know. This one didn't have that much lemon to me. It was kind of just a very sweet scent. So I mixed it with the lemon fizz and it was good. It was a good lemon bakery scent. And then sugar, sugar waffle cone. This was very, very sweet, like sweet. So I, this was like a mixer scent. Um, 
it was okay. Zucchini bread and graham crackers. This was good. Scent was like a three or four. Throw was like a three or four. All right. So that's everything. Sorry if I kind of rushed through that. I just thought I had so much. Like you guys can kind of see. You see on the ground next to me like how much I have. So yeah, sorry that I kind of rushed through that. Like I said, I want to try to make these a little more frequent so it's not so much and I'm not rushing through. And then I also eventually want to describe them a little bit in more detail eventually. But again, these were like, some of these were so small or like the L3s, like sample sizes that there's just, to be honest, not that much to say about them. So eventually I'm gonna start talking more about the scents I love, that I've discovered that I really like, that, um, I don't know, I'll just wanna describe more in detail, but yes, I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you liked this different style video. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.